Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at a finite line charge segment. So let's say that this is, uh, uh, has positive charge on it and the charge per unit length is denoted by, uh, by lambda right here. And so then what we do is we take a small little piece of that and it has a small amount of charge dq and dq would be equal to the linear, char uh, linear charge density times the length of that little segment which is dx. So we can define dq as lambda times dx. Notice the length of this line is 2a. We have the middle right here and a point right across in the middle which is b away from that line of charge. And so there you have x equals negative a and x equals a. And ultimately what we're trying to find is the potential at this location here um, relative of course to that line charge. So if we have a point charge, we can use this equation, V equals KQ over R, but of course there's not a point charge, there's a line charge there, so how do we deal with that? Well, we're going to have to find the potential due to a small little segment of it, and then integrate it across the entire line. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that there's a small, a small amount of voltage, dV, at this location right here to do the small amount of dQ there. So we set up the same equation as this, so this will be equal to K, times the charge, which is a small little dq, divided by the distance r, which is in this case, the square root of x squared plus b squared. Notice that in this case, x is the variable and b is a constant. So if we're going to find the full voltage, we have to integrate that, so that becomes v, which is equal to the integral of that. Now, before we do that, maybe we should rewrite dq. So let's do that, so we can write this as k and dq can be written as lambda times dx divided by the square root of x squared plus b squared. So now that we've done that, we can take the integral of that and now realize that both k and lambda are constants, so this becomes k times lambda times the integral of what's left, which is dx divided by the square root of x squared minus, uh, plus b squared. And then, of course, we need to integrate it from minus a to a. So the lower limit minus a, the upper limit is a. Now we need to integrate that. And so you can find that integral to be k lambda times the natural log of x plus the square root of x squared plus b squared. And then we're going to evaluate that from minus a to a. All right, so once we plug in the limits, we get the following. We get the potential is equal to, <clears throat> yeah, that would be equal to k times lambda times the natural log of, plug in the upper limit, we get a, and let me go like this, because we have first to plug in the upper limit, so we get the natural log of a plus the square root of a squared plus b squared minus, when we plug in the lower limit of, that would be minus a plus the square root of x squared, oh, that would be a squared now, a squared plus b squared, like that, and parentheses around it. Ah, I had a bracket, so let me make it a bracket. There we go. All right. So now what we should do is probably simplify that a little bit. Um, also realizing that I can switch those around, I can switch those around, so let me rewrite that a little bit in a little better format. So now we have the voltage is equal to k times lambda, and since we have the natural log of this minus the natural log of that, we can write it as a fraction, so that means that we can write this as a natural log of, and then in the numerator we'll end up with the square root, let's see here, yeah, uh, the square root, of a squared plus b squared plus a, so I reversed order on that one, divided by this, but I'm going to reverse the order, so we're going to write this as the square root of a squared plus b squared minus a. There we go, and this then will become the voltage near a line charge when your distance b away from it, and the length of the line charge goes from minus a to plus a. And so this is how we find the voltage of a finite piece that has charge on it. That's how it's done.